How old are you? I'm 35. 35, what you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist. Hairstylist? You have any kids? Um, I do, I have three sons. Three sons, how old are your three sons? So my oldest is 13, my middle son is nine, and my youngest is five. Five, all by the same man? No. How many men? All three have their own dads. Okay. Uh, why are you not with the five-year-old dad? So the five-year-old's father and me just didn't work out. He was younger than me, so just our differences. And I've pretty much been single since my five-year-old. I've been now single for about four and a half years or so. Okay. And is Zillia? Yes. Zillia, how old are you, love? I'm 35. Oh, 35. Yes. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. So we got Delia, Kansas City, Missouri, 35, Virgo, here, Silas, mom of three, by three men. Have you ever been married? I have not. Never married. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? So I'm currently looking for a family-oriented man and a loving man. Um, I don't have my parents anymore, so that's kind of a big deal to me that, you know, I just have a nurturing man that understands the importance of the love that I'm looking for as far as us sharing a space together. Okay, so you want to build your own family? Yes. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Wait, but she already got a family. She got three kids with three different men. That's a family of six, seven. That's a family of seven. Now, obviously, she didn't choose to have all the kids by one man, but that's a family of seven people. Um, so my deal breakers are liars, obviously, and then thieves, um, thieves of character more than thieves of options, because I think that people like to leech off of people that are like shining or people that do things. And I don't want that in my life. OK, should he look a certain way? Um, I'd like for him to be taller than me because. I don't know. I don't, I can't speak for other women, but I just think that in submission, it's going to be kind of hard to submit to somebody I'm looking down at. So I kind of need a roar, like the little videos. I don't need no roar. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, how tall so, are you? I'm five foot four. <laughs> okay, you're not that tall. No, so no, I'm not that tall. So you a man that was 5'9"? I guess I would, yeah. Okay, but so like, you're taller than you. You're five four. Yes. Got you. Okay. Um, so you make a certain amount of money? Um, I like him for, I would like for him to make some money. Make some money. Yes. Like that's so important. Like, cause. So no like, minimum. Um, sadly, I, uh, if I had to say it's rough to say a minimum, I think I'm more on the minimum of like how long he's been employed. Like, I don't want to meet you when you're on your last point at your job. Like I would rather know you've had a little bit of longevity. So I think versus me caring so much about. I think she's afraid to say the number because she doesn't want to be judged. But if a man is coming in to take care of three kids from your other three men, he's going to need some money. And we're not even talking about if he has own easy or he, if he has his, his own kids or if he wants kids. Right? She hasn't talked about that. So if he's going to feed himself, feed you. Because I don't think you want a man that you're going to feed, right? I'm sure she wants a man who's going to feed her and her three kids. So that means... A five of a, a family of five, and we're not even talking about whether he has kids or kids. So she, he's gonna need to make some good money. She's afraid to say it because again, she doesn't want to be looked at as a gold digger. Understandable. Fair enough, Delia. Let's do the Kendrick cam. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay, let me turn it up. Ooh. Okay, my friend acting like it's such a problem, but she the reason I'm on here. So okay, I need to wait, like, move over to more to the oh, okay. get it sexy. Oh my god, get it sexy. Get it sexy. <laughs> got sexy right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, she looks good. Even if she has three kids but three different men, she's gonna have the DMs popping. Now, obviously, it's one thing to have the DMs popping, it's another to have the men who are actually intentional and serious about her. But she gets the she get the kicks. Um She's a pretty good looking woman. So some men don't care if she has three men, three baby daddies. Just because she has a good body, she looks good. The DMs are going to be popping for sure. Yeah, when was your last relationship, boo? Okay, so it was approximately about four years ago. Oh, that was your child's father, you said? It wasn't my child's father. It was someone I dated after the fact. Okay. Three, um, you don't have to answer. 
but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? So the last person I was intimate with was actually the ex from that time. So that is, yeah, I'm not, I'm you just You haven't not. had sex in four years. So no, I haven't not had sex in four years. Just the last person I had sex with was him. So you know how people be single, but they be having sneaky links and hopping around? That ain't me. So I ain't my, did well, that. Okay, so I don't need to know too much about him. I'm trying Go to get ahead. the time frame. So are you answering the question when the last time you had sex? <laughs> so I'm answering the question, but I guess I'm not answering the question. So the last time we were intimate was around Valentine's Day. But I haven't been with him in a relationship in that long. So it's kind of been an off and on trying to make. So obviously that guy either has good dick. Which I think I think that's what it is. Good dick. So that means the new guy has to watch out for him. Because every time you guys, if... I, if, if every time she has any conflict, you know, those arguments in relationships and maybe you guys take a mini break, that guy that she's hooking up with, that so-called ex will be back in the picture during that time when she's mad at you, you guys are fighting. That's the guy you have to worry about because if she's, they were last in a relationship almost four years ago and she just had sex with him, not even, you know, less than six months ago. You best believe when you guys have a fight, that's going to be the guy who's going to be clapping those chicks. So you got to watch out. Make it work, not making it work type thing in this song. So y'all have spent Valentine's Day together. <laughs> <laughs> liar. Uh -uh. No, but no. yes. <laughs> She's a liar. Okay. Did you guys just see the red flags? red flags written all over so any guy who gets with a lady like this and then you come back and complain oh my god she lied to me she did this oh you are not listening because she's telling you who she is just right now i mean kendra is asking very good questions so you can literally see the red flags just right here every time somebody can answer a question they touch their face cover their mouth that's a lie so but obviously like i said she is a very attractive woman so some men are definitely going to be in those DMs. It doesn't matter if she's lying. doesn't matter if she has three kids by three different men. Some guys are going to still shoot their shot. That's what men do. Okay. Does he have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, he does not have a girlfriend. He does okay. not have a girlfriend. Y'all just linked up on Valentine's Day. Yes. Okay, why? <laughs> y'all didn't, didn't go out on a date or anything? We didn't go out on a date, but we had a date. Okay, and then after that, what happened? Like, like why can't y'all work this out? Because we are toxic and it's just unacceptable. So I, it's just, yeah. But versus going out and I hadn't got, gotten that far with anyone. Else. Another red flag. She just told you she's toxic. Else, yeah, that happened. So here we are. Okay. All I right. can't believe it. Oh, my Lord. Look at me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Delia, what are three flaws you have to work on, sweetheart? Um... I would have to say um, my lack of patience only in wanting things now because I'm so used to making things happen for myself. So, you know, I understand things take longer. So just, I guess, the patience when it comes to that. And then another, I guess, flaw. It's hard to admit your flaws, but I say I'm overzealous because I'm like really excited. I get passionate about things. I'm a lover. My nickname is Sunshine. So I think with that being stated, though, some people sometimes people take me wrong versus understanding me. And like a few years ago, I actually went viral for saying that I had nothing to offer a man. And then that turned into me being on world world hip. I mean, world star that all I had to offer a man was my box, which wasn't even where I'm at. It's like people interpreted me wrong when in reality I was just speaking, you know, how I actually feel so i think that you know that stinks but it's because i'm overzealous and when i get passionate it just comes off as a lot going on so i'm not familiar with your viral video what what, what happened with this what did you say in the viral so, video um about it was like in 2021 i had went on a rant um because i was going um to date this guy and this guy had asked me what i had to offer and basically i'd explained to him i really had nothing to offer and i went into the rant of basically why i felt the way i felt and it ended up viral and, and it just turned into a lot but it was really just me explaining that you know how frustrated i was for you know constantly cooking for men that aren't assisting in the 
home and how, you know, I work, but I'm frustrated. I just explained all of the various reasons why basically I didn't get to know very much about myself to explain to offer because I've been working so much and doing all of these different things. So instead of just wanting a basic person, I need to make sure I'm not a basic person trying to attract a basic person. But it spiraled into a, con it, it went crazy. <laughs> what was the feedback? Oh, the feedback was horrible. Well, if you're going to meet another human being, I'm pretty sure you expect them to offer you something. Could be protection, could be provision, could be romance, could be a good time, could be conversation, right? As human beings, once we meet other people we're trying to get personal with, we expect something, written or not, right? So as a lady... If you're looking for a man, especially a man who might play stepdad, you should have an idea of what you're going to offer this man. So for him to think it's a good deal for him to come and play stepdad for your three kids. I mean, it's only fair. Like, what do you have to offer? I'm sure you know what you want him to offer you. So what do you offer in return? That's it. I mean, it shouldn't be a complicated question. Because as humans, we have interactions, but the more transactional. You give me something, I give you something. Give me a hug, I give you a hug. You make me a meal, I, I pay the light bill. Like, there's a transaction basis. So if a woman can't even answer what she brings to the table, they don't like that, the question. You, they can name everything a man should bring to the table, but they never seem to be able to name anything they bring it to the table. They always just say me. It was that I, I'm basically, I'm, you know, because I'm a mother of the three children, maybe I need to get back with my fathers. And basically all I had to offer is my box and I'm angry and I'm bitter. And it wasn't the case, though. That was not the issue. I just was venting is on the video on day. YouTube. Say that again. Is your video on YouTube? It is on YouTube. What's the name of the video on YouTube? Um, now, as far as what they may have named, and I'm not for certain, but I do know if you type my name in on YouTube and then type in something like nothing to offer a man, I'm sure it's going to show up. <laughs> nothing to <laughs> offer a man? Yes. Let me see. Nothing to offer a man. I can't believe that this is happening. I shouldn't have. D E L I A. -A. Lord, let me just seen. put that in. Is this okay? This video right here. Yep, that's I it. <laughs> I realized today that I have nothing to offer a man. Nothing. And I feel like it took, number one, it took me uh, 32 years to realize it because I just found that out today. So I was today years old when I realized it. And then um, it took me a lot of pride swallowing to be able to admit it. Um, I'm going to tell you why I feel the way I feel. This is not based off anyone else. This is only based off myself. But I just wanted to share it just in case it may help somebody else. I feel like I don't have anything to offer to a man because a man asked me. What <laughs> That's I had to offer him. And it was the way he asked that oh, made no, me no, realize that I it's don't. He simply stated, I realize that you're single, but tell me what would I benefit from having you as my woman? Now, outside of the basics, like, oh, I look nice, I can cook, I work, I didn't have nothing else to offer. And the reason I realized that I didn't is because I got to thinking about myself. And all I've been doing for oh so many years is just working and taking care of kids. I don't know necessarily what I'm into, so there, there goes hobbies. I'm not necessarily sure my feminine level of energy because majority of my relationships, I wore the pants. So how can you, as a woman, offer to be a woman to a man if you've never fully been a woman? I am a woman because I'm a female, but I'm talking about like actually be a woman, like to a man. I've never experienced that, so I don't know what that feels like. So I can't honestly say that I have anything to offer as far as a woman outside of just being a woman. So that means all I'm how would you? So do you still feel that way? Um, I don't. I don't currently feel that way anymore because of course I prefer. Now? On my own. Um, I feel like I definitely have something to offer, which is what led to me continuing to be single because, of course, the standards have changed and how I feel about myself. But at that time, I mean, don't get it twisted. Some of the things that I said in that video, I still stand on. But I no longer feel I have nothing to offer. I think I just viewed myself at that time as having nothing to offer and didn't really realize, really, even in myself, you know, 
any of it. I just, I had a lot going on at that time and I was just up venting one morning and then it just, I, I guess that's how viral works, but baby, I, I just was up talking, so. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but I still need to hear exactly what she says now she figured out that she can offer. You know, I, I like the fact that she was kind of honest in the video that Kendra was playing. She didn't know, and that's okay if you don't know, but if you're looking for a certain result, especially a relationship, the man is going to expect something the same way the woman is expecting something. So I need to hear exactly if she has figured out what she has to offer a man, especially as a man, a woman who has three kids. <laughs> so now you don't, so, so now you feel some ways, but different. All right. So that, okay. So I, I'm trying to think now I want to hear the answer again. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? So I think that a guy will be lucky to be with me because um, I know who I am. I know what I do bring to the table. What and I that? also am ready to compromise and cohabitate with someone. And I think that that's the most important. I know how to allow a person to live, um, you know, the way that they need to live while still sharing a life with them. And I think that that's important. And I'm just ready for the companionship. So I think someone will be lucky to have me because it's not just, oh, I want a man for this reason. I also need for other reasons. So I think that that position is important to a man. So I know how to be a woman to a man. And that's a big deal. Do you want more kids? She literally said nothing. Am I tripping, guys? She said nothing that she offers a man. She said nothing why a man, why a man would be lucky to be with her. She, she didn't answer the question. She just said a bunch of words, put them together, and that's it. And, and that's the issue sometimes, Kendra. You got to really get dig deeper because she, everything she just said, she said nothing. Why would a man, a man be lucky to be with you? Oh, because I want companionship. I want the man. It's like it, it went back to her. It's like she answered the question with this is why you... you this is what I want. That's why you'll be lucky to be with me because this is what I want. That's what, that's all she did. She didn't answer the question. Kids? Um, I'd actually love to have more children, but okay. I'm open if they're not too, because I understand, you know, not wanting more children okay. just based off society. Can, can the guy have kids already? Yes, he can have children. So we got a couple questions for you. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm not scared. Just Jay talking said why are you entertaining someone you know is toxic your time should be the value you give to the right man right true i agree why are you entertaining someone that you know is toxic i'll be selling her that don't make me do it okay so what he's asking is correct and i think that honestly my reason is comfort so there's no actual excuse nothing like that it again just kind of goes back to what i said like i hadn't met anyone different so you know it's way easier to go to what you know versus sometimes being ambitious to try something new i hadn't at that time so that's really the answer it goes back to what i just said for the new man you gotta be worried about the guy she broke up with four years ago but she's still having sex with him four years later so as the new man, every time you have a fight with her, you get into an argument, she's going to run back to that, to that guy, right? You got to think about that. Either the dick is good and she says she's, they're both toxic. Maybe she likes toxic men. So if you're the guy who's calm, humble, everything, every time you guys get into a fight, she's going to run back to that guy. All right. So I'm just going to link down below the full video to Kendra's channel. If you guys want to check it out, what do you guys think? Comment down below, subscribe to your boy.